Welcome to Living Well. What is it to be living well? Well, living is in large part wellness. This show has been created to tell you everything you ever wanted to know about your health, but your doctor forgot to tell you. Why did your doctor forget? Well, maybe you didn't ask. Did you ever think of that? Do you want the best of health and wellness? Well, if you watch only one show about your health, this is the one to watch because you're already watching it. Today, we bring together a group of wellness experts, each with a story to tell. Joining us on the show, Dr. Eric Raz, who practices family medicine and will talk to us about exercise, nutrition, stress management, the spine, and so much more. Then we go further into the benefits of a good workout with the family. Yes, David Maley, president of Silver Creek Sportsplex is with us. And Dr. Melody Lind is here to talk about liposuction and other plastic surgery procedures. Their expertise meets our questions right now on Living Well. And we start with Dr. Raz here today, a family practitioner in the Bay Area for 23 years. Doctor, we're living longer, we're feeling better, why? Oh, there are so many good things happening in, in our in our healthcare industry and we really are living longer but unfortunately a lot of people are not taking the precautions that they need to okay well we'll talk about the spine and how this relates in just a second here but wellness secrets tv crews checked out your offices and let's take the folks inside dr raz is a great wellness chiropractor because he takes the time to find out not only what the problem is but also what may be causing the problem i love dr raz's touch his gentleness, his concern for my well-being and my back. What I'm doing here is opening up the vertebrae. Well, one of my passions has been health and wellness. Good. My wife and I have always taught our children from a very young age, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So as always, let me check your alignment and your muscles. The one aspect that I truly feel I'm gifted at is making an impact on the health of everyone I come in contact with. You're doing good. You're relaxing very well for me. The reason you should choose me as your chiropractor is because I truly care about your well-being. I will help you lay out a roadmap to be more proactive in prevention, and my goal is to truly help you heal as quickly as possible. That it shows the before and after and how important it is for you to stand erect. As your health and wellness chiropractor, you can be assured that I will place your health and wellness as my top priority. I would definitely recommend Dr. Raz as a wellness chiropractor because he's someone who is able to provide long-term solutions instead of just a quick fix. If you're looking for a wellness doctor and a life coach and someone who cares about your well-being, I highly recommend Dr. Raz. When we look at living longer, we're seeing more centurions, people living over 100 years. What, what makes this possible? You know, the U.S. Census Bureau estimates that by the year 2050, we will have roughly 4.2 million people living to 100 years old. So there's a very good possibility that you have a chance of living a very long life. Me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, we're getting to this, you know, age people in their 80s and 90s never expected that they would be living to 80s and 90s 80 and 90 years ago but we're getting there and we haven't properly taken care of our spines and we're not living the lifestyle that we really should you know well, I, I eat well I exercise but I actually don't feel like things are set up to be able to take care of your spine properly like cars are not made well in some cases when you are riding in them for long periods of time and sitting at a desk and working on the computer does hurt people's backs. What are we looking at here with a healthy spine? Doctor? You pointed out something so important. There are so many things in life that can affect the health of our spine. Cars, injuries, sports. We, we As kids, we're falling on the ground. We're playing sports. Um, but this model I, I brought here shows uh, several different... Um, and it starts uh, with a healthy spine. It, it starts with a very healthy spine here. This is your normal vertebrae. It has a nice healthy disc and that it allows the nerves to come out from the spine without any in interference. That is so important, not only in, in the production of pain and discomfort, but our entire well-being uh, is affected by interference to the nervous system. So a healthy spine is bone with a buffering of some sort. That's correct. That's correct. It's a shock absorber. It allows the spine to have healthy movement and, and it allows the, the nerves to come 
out through the spine without any interference. Now, when you look just one stage over here, I see a lot of this in my office. It is just some very early stage injury. You can see a little tear in the disc. Uh, the, um, the, the, the disc starts to narrow some. So the buffering is the disc, and when people talk about they've slipped a disc or their disc is injured, that's what you're looking at, this the area is, between the bones. That's exactly right. And, and uh, uh, what happens is over time, if this is left uncorrected, unadjusted, uh, it will continue to degenerate. And you'll see in the, in the third stage here, there, there's actually even a uh, protrusion of the center of the disc that starts to work its way out toward the edges. You can see that the bones start to uh, develop some roughness. These are called bone spurs. Um, over time, this becomes a very rigid joint, once again, leading to more nerve interference and more imbalance in the spine. And this is, this is what we really don't want to see. This is the last stage of the process where, where you're practically bone on bone, and those nerves are definitely uh, interfered with almost 24 hours a day. When you're seeing spurs like that, does that also end up in some sort of spinal contortion? Oftentimes, you will have scoliosis or curvatures of the spine that go along with this process. How can people prevent against stage four here? Okay, the beauty of this is that we at our office have several methods by which we can evaluate an individual spine to determine what stage they may be in. And preferably, we try to get people to recognize the earlier you find these uh, conditions and take care of them, the better you are going to be able to go into your later years upright with good posture and not um, all slouched over in, in a wheelchair. All right, so stress, weight management, and good exercise also important to this as well. Lifestyle choices are crucial. Strength, endurance, exercise, uh, proper diet, nutrition, absolutely. A, a full spectrum. Uh, um. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. You're Great very to hear welcome. You. And thank you for bringing in the models too. I think that really is helpful for people to understand exactly what's happening to their spines and how it can be prevented because that you don't want. Absolutely it, not. It doesn't look good. For more information, visit wellnesssecrets.tv. And if you want to visit Dr. Raz, this is the information for how to reach him. Coming up, we talk family fitness with David Maley of the Silver Creek Sportsplex. That and more when Living Well continues. We're back in moments. Welcome back to Living Well. We're here with David Maley, president of the Silver Creek Sportsplex. Welcome to the program. Tell us Thank a little you, bit Lawrence. about I appreciate it. the Silver Creek Sportsplex. And for all of the time that it's been open, what was the history that brought it to be? Well, the history, short history, is that I started a, an inline hockey facility when I stopped playing hockey uh, for the Sharks. And it was off the Tully Road at the, at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds, and we lost our lease. And um, ended up meeting a gentleman that wanted to help grow the business. We looked for buildings that could house three rinks. We found this gigantic shell of a building that could uh, was four times gigantic, gigantic, quarter mile long. Um, and I pitched to this uh, my partner of mine an idea of bringing other like fitness uh, businesses inside the facility and. Um, he liked the idea. He said, keep going. Seeing is believing it is a gigantic facility. The Wellness Secrets video crews <laughs> went to the Sportsplex so that you could check it out. Take a look. The Silver Creek Sportsplex is a 240,000 square foot multi-sport fitness and wellness facility. So it's, a, it's a, basically a destination place for families or individuals to come and, and, and exercise, have fun, and, uh, and stay fit. As a former NHL player, I retired here in the Bay Area, and I saw a real need for um, a clean, well-run indoor roller hockey facility. We have a program for eight and under, basically all kids that are under eight years old play free here. We have equipment. Um, from head to toe that they can use for free. Obviously your goal. Okay, um, we've got <laughs> Stephanie up top, Fiona in the middle, Erica up top with Stephanie. Um, let's go do it, have some fun. Hey. Hello, hello, Strikers Den, the so indoor soccer facility, has four fields. There's two large indoor fields and two smaller fields where they have uh, a Mighty Cubs program. It's a youth child development program from 18 months old to five years old where when they first start out, um, 
the parents can come out with them and learn motor skills and you know it's 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 a child development class that's surrounded by the uh, soccer theme yeah do it again Gabriel Ryan do it again everybody that does come here and see it they just say, oh, I just can't you know I can't I can't believe this place so come down with the family and check it out <laughs> I heard David say that he played in the NHL with mm -hmm. the Sharks in the Cow Palace days, 92. Tell me, I mean, from anyway. ice hockey to roller hockey, why do people enjoy roller hockey in the way that you do see kids now playing ice hockey because the Sharks have been here in the Bay Area and have made a difference that way? You know, I, uh, I saw a huge need for indoor facility when I stopped in the early 90s because kids were playing out in the, in the tennis uh, courts and parking lots. And you know, roller hockey, to me, it goes back to my Minnesota roots where I knew this Scotty Olson who invented the inline roller hockey skates, and I used them to help you know, with off-ice shooting. It was just a training. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, used skates as, as a training method. So um, you know, right now in this facility, roller hockey is just a, a, a more economic way. It's, it's not as expensive as ice hockey to get into the sport. And a lot of the kids that come in the, the rolling ice to play roller hockey end up, you know, trying ice hockey. So, uh, and besides the fact they're all fans, right? Mm -hmm. They're all Sharks fans, and uh, and and, that, and Sharks being doing as well as they're doing now helps us too. You, know? you look at the history of roller hockey in the area. The Rhinos used to be a team. Now yeah. uh, the Stealth and Lacrosse. Lacrosse is something with the turf laid out that kids can get into as well at the Sportsplex? Yeah, they can. Uh, the captain of the team, Shaden Santos, is uh, running a phenomenal uh, program there. It's called LAX Lacrosse. Um, you know, sort of from little kids all the way up through adults. So, in fact, I, I, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it one of these days. Well, one of my favorites from growing up, uh, indoor soccer with the likes of Steve Jungle and Precky. And that was some exciting stuff. You can still get into indoor soccer, and that's at the facility. And it's kind of a good thing because the weather outside isn't really conducive to hitting the outdoor soccer game, but indoors, well, what do we have here? Oh, we've got four indoor arenas, two, two that are 180 feet by 80 feet and two smaller ones. But like you said, indoor uh, soccer, it's great because of the weather, obviously, but it's a, great, it's a great game. I mean, outdoor is a little different. If you look at a lot of the fields outside, there are a lot of potholes. I mean, it's, it's dangerous, and this is a state-of-the-art facility to play a, a real fun game. I have one more Sharks connection for you. Uh, a guy I did a story on, uh, Miles McEntee, yes. cooks for the Sharks he after does. practices in a trailer out back of the uh, Sharks Ice facility. Yeah. He owns and operates the restaurant within the Sportsplex, the High Five. I mm -hmm. mean, this is a centerpiece of the facility, isn't it? It is. It's a, it's a beautiful place, beautiful restaurant. They're great at what they do. Uh, in fact, Miles made uh, the last road trip for the first time with mm -hmm. the Sharks and was a trainer. I don't know if you saw him behind the bench in that road trip, but uh, I just talked to him this morning. He said they miss him now. They want him to come uh, fly out to Detroit. Because uh, they're hungry. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly hungry. what it is. Yeah. And we're hungry for a cup here. And yeah. when you see how the Sharks have grown and how like sports in the South Bay have grown since you arrived, yeah. how, how does the Sportsplex and other related things really matter to a community? Oh, I think it matters a lot. I mean, the, the Sharks, for one thing, you know, in these economic times, it's a tough, tough times. And having a team like the Sharks are doing so well, I mean, I don't know about you, but it, it, it gets a little pick up in my step to know that they're playing well and I'm associated with them. I, um, you know, do some radio stuff for them here and there and I'm an alumni guy. You know, we, we raise money a couple times a year to help the Sharks Foundation. So, and I think the coolest thing about hockey in the Bay Area is that people know the game now. I mm -hmm. mean, they really, the conversations with people, I'm like, wow, you guys really get this game. And uh, it, it's really fun. Well, you heard him here. You'll hear him with uh, Dan Rusinowski and also uh, Jamie Baker. And yeah. thank you so much well, for coming thank in. thank you, Lawrence. Really nice to uh, talk with you and see exactly what it is, this giant facility. And for more information on the Silver Creek Sportsplex, visit wellnesssecrets.tv. Coming up later in our show, we will talk to Dr. Melody Lind about plastic surgery with a focus on liposuction. We're back in just a bit. David, awesome.
Welcome back to Living Well. We're here with Dr. Melody Lynn. Welcome to the studio, doctor. Good to see you. Good to, to be here. Talk to us here about your plastic surgery specialty, the Smart Lipo. What is it? Well, the Smart Lipo MPX I'm very excited about because it is a fat reducing procedure, a body contouring procedure that is in line with my practice. My practice uh, promotes healthy living. Uh, I don't operate on people until I am proven that one is on a healthy diet program and exercise program. And it's just for those unwanted areas that will not go away no matter what people do. And you use lasers, which is kind of an important thing to bring in. I gotta show the folks watching what exactly this is, and we'll come back and talk about it in depth. But Wellness Secrets video cruise recently came out to your offices. Let's take a look inside. Hi, Hi, how good are you, to see you. So, what are we doing today? For me, plastic surgery is not all about just the outward look. I do believe that, again, I'm good nutrition, good attitude, does give one inner peace, inner harmony, and it does reflect on how you look. And it's not so much as walking around with a mirror and looking at lines and, and looking in the mirror and saying, ugh, I don't like this about myself. It's a matter of looking in the mirror and saying, you know what, this is what I like about myself and this is what I want to enhance. The stronger laser light is more site specific and then it shrinks your skin. I do a lot of body contouring work and it is a general phrase which concerns lifts, abdominoplasties, i.e. tummy tucks, arm lifts, leg lifts. I do a lot of liposuction and I'm very proud to say that I am an owner of a Smart Lipo MPX machine which is a laser light that does melt fat and shrink skin at the same time. It is done in the office, there is no downtime, and it really is an answer to my body contouring prayers because I really obtain superior body contouring results with the Smart Lipo MPX. You know, we have surgery for Friday, so I'm going to have to reschedule you on me. As your personal cosmetic surgeon, you can be confident that I have your well-being at heart and I have the current technologies available to you for a maximum result with minimal downtime. You know, most of the background I have with plastic surgery I learned from the doctors of McNamara Troy on Nip Tuck. But you see them use the <laughs> liposuction and it looks like it hurts. Like, but this is something totally different. What is this? Well, what is so great about this is it is it, it's perfect for Silicon Valley because it's highly technical in the fact that, you know, before our standard liposuction is mechanically as it is on nip tuck, just sucking out the fat. And when you do that, you're not just sucking out fat, you're also destroying some soft tissue around that area so that the downtime was like a week or two. People were in a lot of pain. And, you know, there were some, a higher risk of getting contour deformities, meaning it's not even. It looked like a fiber optic cable almost well, this, and a laser involved. That's right. So this is a fiber optic cable uh, that hooks up to the laser machine that was seen in the video. And basically it's a laser, two laser wavelengths. One melts the fat. It's fat specific. The other laser light shrinks the skin. It's gentle. It is better at contouring and the downtime has been minimalized by it's like one day of downtime. Uh, but most importantly, the results are far superior than the standard liposuction. Uh, that being said, after I do melt the fat, I personally do aspirate. I suction out the fat so there aren't toxic wastes built up in the system. And the next day after doing that, people are up and about. They're taking care of their kids, especially in today's day and age where we have work to do. Um, people can go back to work on Monday. And yeah. the pain is not anywhere like the regular liposuction. And tummy tucks as well, I mean, this is part of it? Um, you know what, I use the Smart Lipo in conjunction with my tummy tucks, but um, I do a lot of tummy tucks versus the Smart Lipo MPX is the tummy tuck is done in the operating room. And the tummy tuck itself is a surgical problem. I basically reapproximate muscles that have been spare, that have been spread, that have been torn from um, babies, from losing weight or gaining weight and then losing weight. And um, in addition to doing my tummy tuck procedure, I use Smart Lipo about two weeks afterwards just for the final contouring. Um, now that the person has a nice flat belly, we also uh, give patients the hips and the thighs to go with it. Being a plastic surgeon in Silicon Valley, it's probably going to drive you a little bit crazy here when people say Silicone Valley, but yeah. you know, th that does happen. <laughs> you know, I, I have a question about this. Do you, you have to be like a bartender ever and say, know when to say when and like cut people off if they want to have like outrageous surgery. I mean, when is too much too much? Is like know, in the realm of Joan Rivers or Jerry Jones or something. Can you stop somebody? You know what I do? 
because to me, the whole crux of my, my practice, the reason I um, created the name Beautiful Intentions to reflect my practice, is that you know plastic surgery is surgery. Um, you have to have good eating habits, and you also have to have a good feel about yourself. And it really is my responsibility to see who is a surgical candidate, who is not. Who is a candidate for non-operative procedure like lasers, restal and Botox, versus a facelift. Um, I'm not for someone who wants to change their look, just refresh their look. And that really is what good plastic surgery is about. Um, it is my responsibility, and I tell you, I spend a lot of time talking with people. My practice is very customized. It, it is very personalized. I have a very small staff. People talk with me. My patients talk to me, and I personalize their treatment according to them, not by a book. Do you start by saying, what don't you like about yourself, or is that, that just TV? That is, you know, for me, I, 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 don't, I put it more like, so, what can I do for you? And what is it that you want changed? Right. What can she do for you? For more information on Dr. Lind and her practice, visit wellnesssecrets.tv. And if you want to visit her office, well, the information is right there on the screen. Now, coming up, we take a final look at today's guests and what we learned. We will be right back with the full story. That and a whole bunch more. Thank you so much. Welcome back to Living Well. So what did we learn today? Well, a lot of what we learned is that health and wellness starts with the spine. Let's look again at a healthy spine, that which Dr. Raz brought us. This here is about as healthy as you can get. A lot of padding in the disc and the columns are well protected. But as you go along and injuries take place and time goes by, without a healthy spine, you can get to this, which looks like something out of a Guar video or Lord of the Rings. It, it doesn't look particularly well, but you can prevent that. And it starts with wellness, diet, and exercise, just part of the family focus of Dr. Raz. Here's how to get in touch with him. Wellness Secrets TV is a great place to start, and his office in Campbell is ready for your phone call. That's Dr. Eric Raz. We've also had on the program today healthy lifestyles that are often met with family fitness. David Maley of the Silver Creek Sportsplex joined us to talk a little Sharks hockey and about fun ways to exercise, indoor soccer, lacrosse, and all the great things you can do at the Silver Creek Sportsplex. Their website is at the top of your screen. And Dr. Lynn told us about safe and effective plastic surgery procedures and how smart lipo works. Our thanks to Drs. Raz and Lind and Mr. Maley. And if you have a health and wellness topic that you want to bring to the show, contact wellnesssecrets.tv. Catch us next Thursday at 11 a.m. And as we always say, if you're not living well, well, you're just not living. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.